basically just a very simplified version of our universe, I guess, but not exactly like what it is. So a lot of people might think that math is just math and art is just art, and it's really hard to combine two things that seem like to be really different. But like if you look at everything in nature, everything's sort of interrelated, especially math and art. 16-year-old Yvonne Hong designed this mathematical illustration that celebrates the universality of math. Yvonne is one of eight high school students worldwide to win National Museum of Mathematics inaugural Stephen H. Strogatz Prize for Math Communication. She really put together a very lovely piece of artwork, which I think we all agreed on the judging panel was just a lovely piece of abstract art in and of itself. I have it here. Oh. <laughs> yes. So but this, is her, this is her piece. Do you all yes. see the math in this when you look at it? Yes. It may be hard to recognize if math is not your passion, but throughout this illustration, math is the language of this art. The tree, it's a fractal Pythagoras tree. What so, does that mean? Oh, so Pythagoras sequence. it's pretty much a squared plus b squared is c squared. So if you look closer, so this is a square and like these, so that's a triangle over here, that's a right angle triangle, and then you have these two squares, so that just pretty much symbolizes a square, so that's a squared plus b squared is c squared. I used an Apollonian gasket to do the meteor, so pretty much an Apollonian gasket is just a bunch of circles that are tangent to each other, and they get smaller and smaller as you keep on drawing them. This is supposed to be reminiscent of a Milky Way, so I used a Fibonacci sequence to do that. Pretty much, there's there are two squares in the middle that are one by one, and you have the square that's in two by two, which you draw right underneath, and then three by three, and so on, and you just keep on adding the side length, and that so just results in that. Oh, that's called a Fibonacci sequence. The museum, located in New York, hopes this competition will inspire other youth to see math differently. To me, that's a score right there. We just showed somebody that math is connected to something that they might not have thought it was connected to. So maybe for somebody else um, who likes dance, they're going to watch the winner's video that was a dance sequence, and they'll see something beautiful and say, oh, wow, math has some patterns to it and dance does and I, I didn't really think about those two being connected. If you would like to see the winners in all of the communicating math categories, you can go to our website citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.